another story. This one might challenge your theology a bit, might challenge your experience. I have told a couple other stories about, well, I told a story about bed bugs, and then I told a story about these, this one of those homes that I stayed in uh, at the very beginning of my ministry travels in Uganda. So this story is sort of a combination of two of those things. Um, the one home, uh, I had come and stayed in a woman's home my very first time in Uganda. The second home that I had stayed in, and she, there was a real spirit of, sorrow and of death over that home and a real kind of darkness over her home. Uh, in my other video I shared how we had prayed and covered the home in the presence of the Lord and the tenor had changed or it had been fine to stay there. It felt protected and covered and better but then how and, and then how three months three plus months later I was back again and there was a new gladness and the sorrow was gone and just watching the Lord's bounty. So another piece of this story was that the first time I stayed in her home, there were hundreds of bed bugs. Which is partly why I'm not saying the name of who she is because I don't want to, I don't want to say. Uh, so there was a lot of bed bugs. So much so that, oh, I won't even describe it to you. It's fairly horrifying, but there was a lot of bed bugs, lots. Like I was, I was glad I had Kleenex because I could pick them off of my net and off of my bed for the nights I was staying there that first trip. So I get home from that trip and I know I'm going back there in three months time and I'm gonna be staying in the same room and in the same bed and that there would be these bed bugs and not just a few bed bugs but like hundreds of bed bugs so much so that I wasn't getting very good sleep because I was being woken up all the time which normally you're not woken up by bed bugs right but uh, anyway so a gal at home and I we started praying and we started praying against the bed bugs and that when I was there again there would be no bed bugs now we all know how hard it is to get rid of bed bugs like when you, once you've got bed bugs in a wooden frame bed particularly there's generally no way to get rid of them unless you like burn the bed. Now I have been told recently that you could also use boiling water. They can't survive boiling water if you were to pour that over them. So that's good to know. I, I'll keep that in mind in case I need that at a future time. But generally it's pretty difficult to get rid of bed bugs. So I knew I was going back to this home and so this gal and I, we were praying against the bed bugs. So then I get there three months, three plus months later, and, and I'm staying, and I realize after a few nights that there's no bed bugs. And I stayed in her home the second time for three weeks. So there was quite a bit of, quite a, I mean, that's 21 nights, right? It's quite a few nights. It wasn't just one or two nights, and all, for whatever reason, there was no bed bugs. It was three weeks of no bed bugs. And, and of course, it took me a few nights to realize this. Oh, wow. There's no bed bugs. That's amazing. I wonder what she did, how she got rid of them, right? Because I'm still not even really putting this together as something of the Lord. Sure, we'd been praying there was no bed bugs, but it was the first time that I had ever experienced standing in the authority of Jesus Christ over creation and saying what's going to be what. But this was an extreme situation and it called for an extreme answer. And so this is the way we had been praying. God, we lift this room and this bed to you in the name and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we declare no more bed bugs. Not going to happen. And so we had been praying this and in this way for a few months. And so then I get there and after our first few nights, I realize there's no bed bugs. That's really amazing. Wow. And about half, then about halfway through the trip, so a week and a half in, one night, I had a dream. Well, I had a dream that had three demons in it, or I had three dreams, each one with a demon. I don't, I can't quite remember. And I woke up and to flicking a bed bug off of me. And so there was that one bed bug, and then there was two on my net. So I remember waking up from these, this dream, demonic dream, to these with three demons and then 
three bed bugs. And I, I, I didn't even do anything about the bed bugs. The one I had flicked off me, I had, sorry about this part of the story, I had severed its head, so it's like laying on the edge of the bed dead. And then the other two were on the net. And I didn't even do anything with them. I just prayed. I said, in the name of Jesus, be still. Meaning, you know, you're not doing anything. So this isn't happening. And I just held my ground. I said, enough. That's it. I'm, it's not going to happen. And then I went back to sleep. And I never saw another bed bug or had any bed bug bites for the rest of my time there. So this is another one of my stories. And it's not even really a bed bug story, although it's about bed bugs, but it's about our authority in Jesus Christ and how we've been given dominion and we can reign and we can rule and we can say what's what and we can uh, stand against these things that would undo us. So that's another bit of a story. I don't think I have another one that really goes with that uh, other than it was there that I began to learn hmm, to just stand in authority in a matter of fact kind of way, right? Don't actually have to do any big, any things about this. Don't have to be dramatic. Don't have to be loud. Don't have to be with lots of gymnastics, as one of my pastor friends in Uganda would say, just declaring, just speaking uh, the name of Jesus and standing in the authority to command and to direct and to um, establish things as they need to be, as they're supposed to be, not sort of given over. Thanks.